What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good afternoon or good evening. It's actually 614 down here in Southwest Florida. I actually had an early night or an early day today. Work was crazy. Back home, I had to navigate downtown today towards the beach area. Let me tell you, it is a freaking nightmare. It is a disaster. One lane in, one lane out. Everything's misplaced. The trees are gone. I'm telling you, downtowns are wiped out. This hurricane was nothing to joke around with. The sad part is, is that it wasn't even the wind. It was the surge. The storm surge destroyed everything. But you know what? I was gonna make this video earlier today. I kept losing power. Hopefully we make it through. No interruptions. One smooth shot. Let's give it a shot. What do you say? Listen, I like what I'm seeing in the markets. Tell you right now, I like what I'm seeing. Bitcoin's back above 20K. Coming in at $20,252. It is currently up 3.48%. Ethereum about $13.50. We'll give it a call at 2.78% upward. We're still seeing USDT and USDC under their dollar peg. And XRP is ripping it at $0.47. Cents. Love to see it. Up 3.2%. Total cryptocurrency market cap is approaching $1 trillion. And a Bitcoin dominance is at 39 noon. 29%. Folks, in this video, we do have a lot to cover. Wait till you hear this report that just came out from City. You are going to be blown away. Y you're really not. You're actually probably going to be like, this sounds about right for what City is saying. Uh, Binance, they added XRP to the list of dual investment crypto products. Love that. Sandy Young, Managing Director at Ripple Talks, ODL, aka XRP. And then we're going to hear from the man, the one and only Ashish Berla, as he's going to talk about XRP and how many different countries it is currently available available in. So without further ado, folks, let's get into this thing. First thing I'm going to show you, listen, I'm going to keep preaching this. The plots are going quick. Another new partnership was just signed, not announced yet. A lot of announcements coming. A lot of announcements coming this month. We got a little derailed from the hurricane, but it ain't going to stop us. Everything's still working in the back end. My people, my team, they're still plugging away. We got a lot of big things coming. A lot of big things coming. And if you did fill out the, the form for the PayPal payment, just give us some time. We're going to get everything sent out to you. Things are just a little bit hectic right now because of Hurricane Ian. Now, Michael, my man, sent this over to me this morning. This is that city report I'm talking about right here, folks. It says, Dex have grown faster than centralized exchanges over the past two years. City said in a research report Thursday, the gap is likely to widen as users move away from centralized platforms to avoid their more erroneous know your customer procedures. You don't say, City. You don't say. Users are looking to move away from centralized platforms to avoid KYC. Come on. We know what you're doing. We know where you're taking this. You want to have a piece of the pie. You want to try to cut down. You want to find a way you can get in that you can advertise this crypto, that you can sell those cryptos, and that you can guarantee that everyone that comes to you to buy a cryptocurrency or digital asset is going to be KYC'd. I see what's going on here. You're not tricking anyone. Here's the article. Can't get any more clear. Decentralized crypto exchanges have grown faster. We all know that. DEX is a blockchain-based app to coordinate large-scale trading of digital assets between many users by, by the automated algorithms instead to, of the traditional approach of acting as a financial intermediary between buyers and sellers. That's how they make money, folks. They want to be that financial intermediary. That's how they're going to make money. It is that simple. The watch group put this out just in. Binance adds XRP to its list of dual investment products we just need binance us to relist xrp and let's get this bull run started and before i get into this you want to know how i know that the market trend the market tides changing and you can ask anyone out there who's on social media who's on youtube who's on instagram tiktok you name it when the market is starting to pick back up and people are starting to get more interested into crypto digital assets xrp ripple whatever the subject may be views start going up on channels views and engagement start going up on tweets i will tell you right now i'm not ashamed i'm not afraid to admit it 
views have been going up on the channel. I mean, not only because they love Ripple Van Winkle and they love the content I'm bringing, but new people are coming along because they're hearing about this stuff. Kim Kardashian coming out and being sued isn't all that bad for the NFT game and the cryptocurrency game, folks, because people are going to get interest now. They're going to be like, wait a second, what is this stuff? What did she do? I don't know if anyone remembers, but about four years ago, she was caught uh, on uh, at the Lakers game, and she had one of those Lumens cases. It was the selfie cases. Anyone remember that? You had your phone in there, and it, and it gave you a selfie light so you could take the best, the perfect selfie picture. Well, you know what happened after that was caught one time? That product absolutely blew up. You couldn't even find them. The company went, I mean, it was a one-hit wonder. The company's not even around anymore, right? You don't even know what they're doing. I mean, maybe they have some product out there, but you get the point here. So that's how you know that we're starting to get uh, more newer people and, and, and older people returning back to this because viewership and engagement starts to go up. Now, for anyone out there who's going to be creating a YouTube channel, looking to do a TikTok or any kind of video, a Twitch, whatever it may be, I'm going to give you one tip of advice. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. There's going to be times where it is down. There's going to be times where you're up almighty. You just need to stay consistent. It is that simple. Here's the article talking about it as what they're doing. What is a dual investment product? It allows users to acquire or sell cryptocurrencies at the preferred price and date in the future without any fees. Sell high users are those who want to get rewards on crypto holdings or who want to sell crypto at a higher price in the future. And on the other hand, buy low users are those who want to earn rewards on stable coins holdings or want to purchase crypto for a lower price in the future. Now, as we push along, what do we get here? And I've said this before, it's becoming clear by the day, folks, that the SEC is looking, looking, especially Gary, to throw Ethereum under the bus. Why? All because of the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. All because of all the facts and information that have been put out there that has exposed Ethereum, exposed the corruption, and have exposed what is going on. Listen to this clip. Well, one of the interesting things that's happening is that while Ethereum has uh, uh, touted the advantages of being uh, a proof of stake uh, as opposed to proof of work, and that means it's environmentally more friendly, and people begin to embrace it, uh, I, I, I think that there's very little understanding uh, of how that can affect uh, its more centralized uh, approach and one of the people who I think really understands that is Gary Gensler, who is the head of the SEC. And his voice on these issues is going to be important uh, within this administration. So um, I'm pretty confident that he's the jury's still out with him on uh on ethereum and where it should fall in terms of a regulatory um bucket and uh we use this howie test in our bill uh which is a well understood well defined test to help sort between what is a commodity and what is a uh, security and the characteristics of ethereum uh, may change over time as it goes from uh, proof of work to proof of stake. And so I think one of the reasons that Gary Gensler has not weighed in, put his hand on the scale about Ethereum is that he's probably looking at how this is going to affect uh, its characteristics. There you go. There you go. <laughs> he hasn't made a ruling on it. He's going now. I'm telling you. I've said this for quite some time. For those of you who have been following my channel for this whole year, since January I've been saying this, Ethereum is not getting a free pass here. Then we hear from Sandy Young, the managing director at Ripple. She talks about XRP on this panel. Not many people watch this. Why don't you listen to this one? The beauty of how we operate, um, particularly around this sort of on-demand liquidity solution that, that we use, where we use XRP as a bridge currency essentially to move fiat around the world, right? Um, 
is really giving the benefits of blockchain technology and crypto to our kind of very traditionally operating finance functions and again heads of treasury CFOs typically our clients um, without any exposure to that volatility right we, we we take on that risk and we use our experience expertise over that developed again over the last sort of 10 years to make sure that you know we source the right asset from the market at the right time um, we Again, we very much obviously believe in transparency is a very important topic as well in any industry, really, but especially in this. And, you know, we publish on our uh, website, for example, our markets report where we disclose all the purchases and sales of XRP. Um, but I think, again, the, the beauty is like, it's actually interesting. A lot of times when I speak to our, like our clients, they say, well, you know, don't, ta- don't even tell me you're a crypto company. I don't see you as a crypto, you know, you are, a, you know, you help me do cross-border payments better, make sure that I have the right currency in the right company. And you use the, you provide me the technology that is on the back end that allow those benefits. So I think it is a really interesting way of bridging again, that sort of traditional um, world, traditional finance world with the crypto world. It's a great way to bridge that world. Look at a guy in the upper left from Consensus. He knows. He knows what's coming. He knows what they did. Love hearing from Sandy Young. And then the icing on the cake is right here. Or she's Berla. Dropping it. 23 countries. 23 countries, folks, is what Ashish is telling you right here. ODL, XRP is live in. But then we introduced the ability not only to message, but actual to settle payments. So that is actually moving funds in 2018 with an add-on service called on-demand liquidity. And the uh, add-on service leverages XRP, a digital asset, to move money around the world. And that product has grown tremendously. As soon as we introduced that product and we started gaining momentum, we saw the we saw ripple net traction go through the roof which has been really exciting that value proposition is really moving money around the world a lot faster with less uh, cost in terms of uh, capital costs of pre-funding around the world uh to pre-funding around the world now listen 23 countries but just just a fun fact here trangelo trangelo where ripple owns it's like the money gram of the east right trangelo has 25 payment corridors where they use XRP and on-demand liquidity just by themselves. Trangelo is going to be a massive player. Once MoneyGram is back onto the ODL XRP service, watch out, folks, because those two are going to be massive, max, massive market shares. Plus, don't forget about Western Union. Dimes to Donuts. I'm betting it. Western Union will integrate Ripple's software suite. That's going to do it for me, folks. Listen. I'm going to go enjoy my night. Wash your damn hands. Be nice. Be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.